I have decided to upload some practice questions, especially the MCQs regarding gross anatomy. So for first year MBBS and students of the physiotherapy, here are some practice test questions, MCQs on the upper limb. First of all, starting with bones of the upper limb. In this presentation, I have covered some questions MCQs, multiple choice questions on clavicle. So here is the first question. Um, regarding the clavicle, all are correct except. So read the stem very carefully. Always before starting your exam, no matter in whatever country you are taking your professional exam, whether it's an undergraduate medical exam or a postgraduate medical exam, make a habit of reading MCQ or an SCQ for at least 30 seconds to one minute before commencing to answer the question, especially the MCQs. So always read the stem of the question very carefully in multiple choice questions. In the University of Health Sciences, the students are required to answer one single best question, uh, one single best answer. In this stem, pay special attention to the word, all are correct except. So in this question, you are asked to pick the incorrect answer regarding clavicle. Let's uh, discuss the questions uh, options one by one. Option A, it is an example of the short bone. Clavicle is usually the first bone among the bones of the upper limb to be taught to the students of undergraduate when it comes to osteology of the upper limb. It is placed horizontally in the body and it's a long bone with two ends and a shaft. Short bones usually are considered to not have this particular, these particular parts of a long bone. Hence, they are called the short bone. This question can be covered in the general anatomy as well, in the chapter of the bone. Second option B, it is the first bone to ossify in fetal life. Yes, it is. It ossifies in membrane. Yes, that's a very famous fact regarding clavicle. It is the commonly fractured bone in the body. Yes, that's actually correct. Why? Why it is commonly fractured? It's, the clavicle is also called the collarbone. And due to its superior location as well as subcutaneously uh, located just beneath the skin. And the angle of the injuries usually a person receives during accidents or direct blow injuries. Yes, clavicle does get commonly fractured among the other bones of the body, even other subcutaneous bones as well. It has no middle recovery, yes. It's again another famous fact regarding um, clavicle. Though it is a long bone, it doesn't have a medullary cavity. The interior of the clavicle comprises of an outer compact bone that encloses an internal trabecular network of spongy bone. So after this discussion, I think you can easily pick out the correct option or the correct answer, which is actually supposed to be the incorrect um, fact regarding the clavicle. The answer of this question is, it is an A. The option A is uh, the incorrect fact, hence making it the uh, right answer for this particular question. It is an example of short bone. Again, read the stem of the question regarding the clavicle. 
all are correct except we are supposed to pick out the incorrect fact related with the clavicle which is the option a it is an example of the short bone so for this particular type of questions option a is the right answer second question is related with the clinical of clavicle the most common site of fracture of clavicle is now you will have to imagine or recall your knowledge of bony features of clavicle clavicle is a long bone having two ends and a shaft and it is a concavo convex bone horizontally placed in the body so since it's a concavo convex bone naturally the weak point of the clavicle will become the junction of its medial part and the lateral part medial part happens to be convex part and lateral part happens to be concave part both anteriorly so the junction of the medial two third and lateral one third where these two curvatures meet will automatically become the potential site of weakness by weakness i mean when a bone is considered to be weak at some point that means it is the it is the point where the clavicle or any other bone can easily get fractured even with less amount of pressure exerted during the uh, cause of fracture medial end of the clavicle lateral end of the clavicle both of these options are wrong midpoint of the clavicle midpoint of the clavicle is taken from one end of the clavicle suppose medial end till the second end of the clavicle suppose lateral end so in at the shaft of the clavicle between these two ends is the midpoint of clavicle so no it's not a weak point of the clavicle junction of the medial two third and lateral one third yes it is the junction where the convex medial two third meets the concave lateral one third junction of the lateral two third and medial one third this option is altogether wrong because laterally lateral part of the clavicle is shorter in length as compared to its medial part of the shaft lateral end is one third and medial uh, jo, medial part is uh, considered to be comprising of two thirds of the clavicle so yes correct option for this particular question is d junction of the medial two third and the lateral one third next question uh, the inferior surface of the clavicle gives attachment to all of the following except now again similar to first question again the right answer for this particular question is going to be an incorrect fact um in relation to the attachments on the clavicle so let's um discuss each option option a conoid ligament yes conoid ligament does get attached on the inferior surface of the lateral one third of the clavicle trapezoid again both of these ligaments are two parts of craco clavicular ligament and both of these parts they get attached on the inferior surface of the lateral one third of the clavicle costo clavicular ligament yes this ligament also gets attached to the inferior surface of the clavicle so these three options are the true facts related to the attachment of the clavicle pectoralis major from our knowledge of um, attachments on the clavicle we know pectoralis major does arise from the clavicle but not from its inferior surface a pectoralis major has multiple origins one of which 
is from the clavicle and that portion of the pectoralis major is called clavicular head of the pectoralis major the other one being the sternal head of the pectoralis major so pectoralis major clavicular head its clavicular head arises from the anterior surface of the medial two thirds of clavicle subclavius subclavius the name of this muscle is self explanatory sub means beneath or under clavius clavicle so it's a muscle naturally attached to the inferior surface or the under surface of the clavicle the correct option is pectoralis major here is a diagram showing the origin or attachment of the clavicular head of pectoralis major as you can see in this particular diagram the clavicular head or one of the proximal attachment points for the pectoralis major is clavicle the anterior surface not the inferior surface of the medial two thirds of the clavicle so again you have to pay attention give yourself 30 seconds to read this stem of mcq multiple choice question pick out the hint given to you very visibly in the stem the inferior surface of the clavicle gives attachment to all of the following except that means options given for this particular question are going to be all true facts except one incorrect fact in relation to the attachment of the clavicle clavicle serves the purpose of our next question is a blind ended question it is called a blind ended question because it is not pinpointing certain uh it is not giving you any hint related to the answer so you are more or less on your own to identify the or to pick out the correct option for this particular question but what it's telling you is that in this question you must for, to answer this question you must know the function of the clavicle several functions clavicle serves several functions in the body so let's see the options and discuss them one by one option a immovable crane like strut to suspend the upper limb option b increasing the range of motion of the upper limb option c clavicle allows the scapula to move on the thoracic wall at glenohumeral joint d protection it provides protection to the neurovasculature entering the thorax and last option blocks the shock transmission from the upper limb to the axial skeleton i intentionally did not answer this question because i warned the students especially of the undergraduate first year mbba students to answer the question on their own under the comment section of this particular video but however i have uh, given you the source of the answer where you can find the answer of this particular question so all the best to you